It has been quite some time, my friends. When we last met, there was a war so bloody and terrible that even our imperial vigor was tested. The Vlandian king and I agreed to a peace treaty for a time. In the interim, I've allowed a clan of Noretzis to join us. They have learned about the pretender emperor's true intentions to exploit their military talent. I've even spent time with my wife, Ivra, and my many children, all of whom are growing up quickly. I took up smithing, my build reflects the labor I've endured. Now today, we're going to enter a tournament, and we're going to help the plights of our people. If a leader does not know his people, then he knows nothing at all. It is finally time to make our own blade. I've been working on my smithing, which is a very laborious process. But here, we're going to make a two-handed sword. In time, once my skill goes up even higher, we'll make other blades. But here is mine. It's got a weapon reach of 112, a swing speed of 102, which is really good, a swing cut damage of 99. I think it'll be alright. Let's forge it. What shall we call it? Well, that is really easy. Sola's Family Blade. Maybe we'll get a new one one day, but for now, that is what we have. We've unlocked a sickle blade. I could even make more if I wanted to. If you want better goods, you can come over here to refine what you have. It's a great way to kind of work on that if you need to. And of course, we can smell things down. Not that we're going to do that right now. And it is about time to go check out our trade, then the tournament. We have much more to do, much more to fight. All right. What's over here? There's my blade. It's only weapon tier three, but again, I made it and I'm going to use it. I can use it with only one hand or two hands. That's really cool. All right, beyond that, I would like to equip my spear. Then we are good to go. If I need to use a different blade later, then I shall. But I've got my armor. We'll take out our cape. Perfect. All right, now it is time to enter a tournament. Hopefully we'll win. That isn't a really good prize, but I'm just here for the glory. All right, who's on my team? A healer, one Palantine guard, Tatik. We're fighting Ragna the Accursed, Blood Axe, Veda, and Austin. All right, let's have a fight, all of us. You've put me on horseback. What a bad idea. I told you, what a bad idea. I'm coming back around then. Oh, if you put me on horseback every single time, I would conquer a world. Let's go. I've got some beating to do. Oh, you turned at the very last moment. Very well. Time to gallop again. I'm gonna lower my spear, and who can I hit? Ragna! Ragna's been knocked back into a different time portal, man. She's in the year, like, 1248. She's like, where the hell am I? That's how hard she got hit. All right, let's try again. Ooh, three damage. They'll take care of him. It's over. All right. It is about time for another fight. I'm a little bit rusty here. Here's my warm up. Then later we'll go hunt down some accursed bandits. Maybe a few that we've not really fought before or very often, like Sea Raiders. Look at Ragnar go. He is a verifiable tank. Look at him. You don't hurt him very much, he hurts you. Ooh, a javelin match would be very dangerous for me. I'm playing on realism currently, and the damage I'll take will be extreme. All right, free for all? I can do that. Doesn't matter if it's only a little bit of coin, I'll take it. Really, Tatik? You want to fight me today? Very well. I'll take you. I gotta try to thrust into him if I can. Perfect, perfect, thank you. Oh, I didn't make that hit. 21 damage from behind. That's more than before. It's over for you. He's nearly out. Thank you for that. You made my life a lot easier, pal. I appreciate you, but now I'm gonna have to beat the crap out of you. Oh, you don't have to hold back. I don't really care who you are. I don't care if you know who I am, and you should. If you don't, then I would care. Look, you can wail on me if you want, but you can't be ignorant. Come on. Shield bash again. All right, I'm getting tired of you. It's time to go. Time to go, pal. We're just going to move around him a little bit. Nope. Shield bash again. And he's out of here. I dealt a lot of damage to him. Wow, piercing damage right to the head. 
Let's watch another round play out. Who's fighting here? Ragnar is. Para, Ariata the Black. Ragnar isn't going to lose it. If he does, I'll really shake my head at him. I will not be proud of him if he loses here. Oh, there's no way. They're teaming up on the more powerful of the two. Damn! Ragnar, I think you met someone you should stick with, really. I could go recruiter if I wanted to. I've got room for one more companion. I just haven't found one that I want. Good job, Ragnar. Okay, it's my turn again. Another fight, me and you? We can do that. Let's have another fight, me and you. All right, let's see here. I need to be very mindful on how I fight him because I have got to earn a nice victory and quickly if I can. That was two damage, okay. Shield Bash! That was a lot more damage. All right, Shield Bash again. Listen, listen, friend, I know you want to win. I know you want some infamy, but you're going about it the wrong way. You're going about it at all, which is your problem. You should just give up. I'm here to vacation, but also win. I even win on vacation, too. I know it's a long fight. Oh, 13 damage. But I got him. It's okay. I got him. Now let's get ready for another fight. Who's fighting? Ragnar and Ariada. Oh, she's done for already. That wasn't even fair. He's got incredible armor. I gave him that armor. You're my bodyguard. You shouldn't be trying to attack my body. It's just wrong. You're going against your creed. Holy crap. Feels like kicking up dust. That was my bad. 14 damage delivered. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to do overhead strikes because those are the ones that will probably get him. I just need him to... Ooh. Uh-uh. What if I turn around? I don't know. He's cutting me a lot. You're not quite my equal, but you are quite mighty. I will concede that point. That's why I found you and I hired you. You're one of my best friends here. One of the only people I can truly trust. That really did hurt a lot. All right, let's go again. Is it almost time to go just crazy and just slash at him a lot? No. I've got plenty of shield left. It's just really a battle of a thousand cuts. I was able to get him that time. Okay, 10 damage. I tried to shield bash way too early. Let him get his hit in. All right. Got him. And it's over. That was a long fight. Whenever you're using a bunch of shields in a tournament, it's going to take a while. I try not to take too much damage. I didn't earn a lot of money. I only earned a little bit of renown. Tournaments are very marginal in terms of what you're able to get. I feel like they should have different types of tournaments, like ones that are minor and local than others that will earn you a lot. All right, I don't want your spears, but I do want your archers, and I do want your infantrymen, so we'll take all of these over here. That's most of you. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I've got 47 men. Let's come over here now. You've got a job for me, Zamina. What do you need, Zamina? I can help you out. Yeah, sure. Let's go. How can I help you? 1,000 dinars. I'll do the job. I did pick up one modification that will let you bring in 50 men into a hideout. Trust me, if you have a look at how many are here, you will need that. Because hideouts really need to be improved upon. There needs to be variation, and right now they're just kind of a nightmare. So we're going in right away to fight. Look at that. Look at how many bandits are over here. That is a lot. We might have a very tough time, but we're going to give it a go. Before I give it a go, I'm going to recruit a few more men. Hello, Chandian. It's good to see you again, too. You have a problem. Sure, I can train a few men for you. I can't really promise you that they'll live on, but they can fight and train with me. What I do is quite dangerous. Now, let's have a look at our party real quick. Ten of them total. Good luck, kids. I want you to do your best. I'm sure a few might survive. Anyway, it's time for not only one hideout, but two. 
Let's go take care of the one right by me. It's a bunch of mountain bandits. That should be good training. It is pretty dark, but step one, everyone, fire at will. Only five archers are here currently. That isn't good. Having more archers can really help you clean things out. Hey, pal. Am I dead? I don't know. Ooh, 54 damage. I might be dead. You're right. That was pretty damaging. I got him. All right, let's go over here. All of you, just charge ahead. Do what you will. I know that I should have had my shield out, but I like to play a dangerous game at times. Now, if I need to duel and I will duel, it's going to be even more dangerous. Provided I don't get knocked out here and now. All right, another one gone. They're just moving. Yep, all of you fired well. Do a good job. Kill someone. I know I want to kill someone. Like that guy. 81 damage delivered. But no kill. That's unfortunate. Aston, I apologize. I haven't gotten a good uh, friendly fire hit in a long time, so that was about time. Good shot, though. Oh, he's going to be really sore at me. If he's able to remember, that was a headshot. That's usually why I don't like to lob shots whenever I've got my friendly troops close by. Now, here's only a small hideout of only over 40 men. Imagine fighting one where there's over 100. Things will get messy and nasty. I did hire a few expert thugs. I went over to a local tavern before and picked them up. Patik, let's go. I've got some big barbarians on my side. And it's nearly time for a major duel. Let's keep on moving. That guy, you hit me in the hand. I need that hand. For loving. All right, let's see if I can hit him. Nope, not quite. I'm gonna try again. I got him. I'm getting better at throwing. All right, so let's find a duel. Am I gonna play a dangerous game or a more conservative, safer one? Oh. It's going to be dangerous. I'm here to reap. Get him. Good job. That was only step one. Come on. Let's duel. Oh, you are encircled. You could beat me now, but it wouldn't really matter now, would it? Very well. 47 damage delivered. I kicked him because that's what I get to do. Ooh. Ah. Uh ah. -uh. Not today. I've got more range on him, so that should make a big difference, I hope. Yep, it did. 159 damage. Aw, I got a shitty harvest from him. All right, man, throw it away. Use it as fertilizer. Let's get out of here. Three dead, eight wounded. One job completed. All right, I'm going to hire all of you. You'll all come fight for me. Has anyone been promoted? No. I gained more influence. Very nice. Now later, I'm going to show you how to get a lot of influence if you ever need to. I've gone over it before, but for any of you who want to know again, I will show you how to do that because I know I've got a lot. Now, keep in mind, I do earn a lot per day due to all of my policies and buildings too. But there is another way to do so if you're not a ruler of a kingdom. So we're not going to fight there just yet. My mother-in-law's faction is not doing well. Let's go over to a town that I do not own. I own... Everything over here. I do not own Marunath, so we could head over there, then come on back. It depends on how fast I... Well, no, it will take time, so I'm going to wait. That's where we're going, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I've got 85 men. My party has already grown up. Another hideout already? Damn. They do form up quickly, don't they? Who knows? We might even find another hideout up here. I don't know, man. Farmand. Let's have a chat, me and you. We just need to have a little talk. Now, whenever I pass by a lord, I'm going to show you what I do. Oh, hold on. You're a freaking caravan master. I don't need you. I need that guy. Is he too quick for me? Or can I make it? I can make it. All right, let's wrap. All right, Varmint. Sounds like Varmint. I am Justinian. Now. Ah. I need to talk to your kinsman very well. I've not met him before. Anyway, we're heading on up. We're heading over to Marunath, and there is a nearby hideout, but there's very few bandits over there. We could easily get rid of it. 
I wonder if they ever do it. I don't really know. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Ours are ghosts. Right. Wait, you've got a house here? Oh, I remember you. Holy crap, I haven't seen you in so long. You're that guy from that quest. All right, I can hire Batanians. You can see they do not like me nearly as much as they do in my main town, which is understandable. But let's go over to the keep and over to the garrison. All right, so if you want a lot of influence, whenever you get prisoners or whatever else, and I mean ones you rescue that you can hire as troops, you can dump them over into any friendly commander's garrison, not your own, but a friendly commander's garrison. You'll get influence for it. If you do that for prisoners, you'll get influence for it. That is a great way to get a lot. That's how I get a lot. It's what you need to do right now. I'm sure one day they might either like tweak or change things or whatever, but as of right now, that is how I do it. So I'm not going to give you too much. I do want my Batanians. I'll give you those two. There we are. My influence went up by two, which is not a lot, but whenever you're trading like hundreds at a time, it really does change up. Not to mention the value can also change. All right, let's go back down. We have another hideout to break down. I've got 85 men. I can take up to 50 with me, which is a fair amount. I know the mod has like one option where you can choose to have as many as you want or even more, but I felt like 50 was a good amount. I can lead those. Now, if I had only archers in that group, holy crap, I would destroy everyone. And that would be incredible. Oh, I felt it. Well, that's okay. I didn't realize that I only had like a little bit of time to do it. We're still going to fight here because it's what I do. And they'll probably like me for it anyway. She still likes me a lot. She can get over it. All right. How many are we talking about? 125. So we're about to fight 125 bandits. Damn it. Before we go do that, another person over here has a job for me. You don't know me. You should know me. Anyway, more bandits. I can do it. I'll find them all for you. Another bandit base. We'll do like two or three, then we'll be done with it. It should be a nice challenge. Oh, hey, how about that? We need to go there anyway. All right, let's wait for nightfall. Head on in and kill them all. Let's have at it, boys. Everyone, we're charging in. Follow me. Actually, just charge in. Do what you want for right now. Oh, I know they're angry. We'll get them. We only have two archers, so we're probably going to lose a lot of the damage that we're taking right now. There's one bushwhacker. And where we took out one, we can take out two. All right. We don't need any of their crappy loot. Holy crap. Here comes a big group of them. What I do need to do, I do need to hit more of them and move. I do not need to reap, I just need to charge in. Holy crap, they're picking up a lot of kills right now. I'm going to move over to the flank and try to really distract them. You can see how crazy these fights can get. And it's very dark for me, obviously. Thank you for the help. Appreciate that. Another dead bushwhacker. Damn. Fighting at night is very dangerous. But we're still cutting right through all of them. There's only a few left. My casualties are much higher. Yeah, five dead, 12 wounded. I've only brought in a small party of friends. If I had more archers, I would just like stand back and take care of it. But nope, we don't got that today. All right, men, get in there. Shield wall time. I don't know how many of you have shields anyway. Holy crap. Nothing but arrows all day. Sometimes you just got to move in quickly. I got one of them. I'm going to go kill more of them. What an honor for all of you, though. Getting killed by an emperor? Damn. That's pretty good. I'm probably the mightiest man in all of Calradio. There's a knife in my shield. He's like, yeah, gang, let's go do it. All right. If you want to. It's dueling time. Very well. Sure, we, we can duel. Oh, don't hit me. I've got to carefully make sure that I'm not going to lose the fight. Ah, he's swinging kind of wildly. But I got him in two hits. I was just blocking all over. And it's over. We've done it. Let's get out of here. Nine dead, 14 wounded. You're all caught. I'm going to promote who I can, which is a lot of you. And I think we'll probably go try to find some other villains to break down.
maybe in a different part of the map. It'll be a fun way to kind of like find out what we can do. All right. One more job completed. You're welcome, buddy. He likes me a lot more. No, they begin to like me more over time due to my high security and killing more hideouts and all of that. No wonder they form so quickly. I would need to hunt down like every single one. I would love to be able to hire my own patrols to go take them all out. I would spend however much gold I need to in order to get rid of them all. But that job is now complete, so we can travel wherever we want to. I'm going to double click. I've been traveling around trying to buy more hardwood as I'm trying to work more on my smithing. I've got a few points up, but I also wanted to find a new opponent for us to fight like Sea Raiders. There's only 55, but I remember these guys over in Warband. They were a monumental challenge early on, but if you beat them, you got incredible gear that you would use at that point to either wear or just really make a lot of money from. It's really all that you needed to do early on in order to get that first bit of investment. Okay, so I've been picking up more and more men to come fight for me. Will they die? Oh, absolutely. I believe that. They will probably die big time. Okay, let's go over here. Archers are moving up. Horsemen can move away. I'm here to reap or do whatever I need to do. I mean, I am Justinian. I will kill, and I will kill many. All of you go into a loose formation. Now, they probably have javelins. It's been a while. I can't really remember. Oh, there's one Sea Raider. Doesn't really matter now, huh? Still traveling around. That was a close one. Didn't like that. I'm just riding through, distracting them. That way my archers can hopefully get a few kills in before they meet my infantry. I'm sure they're going to kill a lot of my infantry. Also, I don't want their throwing weapons. Oh, God. To hit my men. That was damaging. 29 damage taken by my armor. You can imagine what would happen to me if I didn't have such incredible armor. It would not be good. No. I got one Sea Raider that time. Oh, God. They are threatening me way too much here. My archers are getting a few kills. You can see what it's like whenever you don't have like a fully elite army. It's definitely very different. Very different. Ooh, they got me that time too. All right. It's almost time for me to go away. I've killed a few of them. I need to move. Infantry, charge in. Horseman, charge in. Everyone, let's go. I'm coming back now. And, uh, someone get me a damn band-aid. I need at least 20. I'm kind of feeling it today. Oh, damn, my mount. You guys are scary. Wow. That was actually impressive. You did a lot of damage to me. And, but I got another one. It's all okay. Are we going to lose a few? Sure. But, I mean, we did weaken them heavily with all of our awesome ranged units. You can see which way I was riding. <laughs> It's another Sea Raider. He's like, you know what? I'm turning the other way. Maybe I don't want to come this way. Come here. I'm here to get things from you. Like heads. Though I'm not a dirty Batonian. I just like to use them for my shelf, okay? My shelf is empty and I need things to put on it. Am I a porcupine? I think I'm more porcupine than man right now. Oh, missed again. What is with me today? Well, no, that's not fair to me. I've been getting plenty of kills. I've been doing all right. Just because I missed a few doesn't mean... Anyway. Can't be too critical of yourself. You should be critical at times, but not too much. If it's detrimental, it's no longer useful to you. All right, let's take all the prisoners here. We even have a chieftain. Look at all the people who have trained up. I mean, they have gotten some serious experience from fighting a battle. Yeah, I want more Palatine guards. I want more thugs. I want more everything, really, who can fight for me on the glorious field of combat. Borrowed troops. How could I forget about that one, huh? I do have a job for that. A few fish harpoons if I want to use them. That was actually pretty great. I really enjoyed that fight. Now, what's over here? What's over here for my character? Riding, 130. Okay. A bow. A crossbow. We'll pick a bow. That means I can use, like, what? A long bow on horseback? That's pretty cool. The Kuzaits. I wish they would all stop fighting. I want them to bulk up in power. I wish I could also bring back another type of faction. I would very much like to fight Batonians or whoever else, but it does look like they're done for. They are... Ooh, hello. Yeah, come fight, for, come fight for me, Chieftain. You too. I'll take a few Sea Raiders. Yeah. All right, so we can move on. We can absolutely move on let's go look at some details over here my speed is 5.17 
I've got a bit of a herd, which is why my speed's a little bit slower. It could be much slower if you've got like a much smaller party. Footmen on horses, plus 1.15. The music is quite relaxing, I've got to tell you that much. There's Aldric. Oh, I could kill Aldric. I might hunt down one of the ruling families. We might end up killing them. Might be time for that, just to kill some enemy leaders. So what we're going to do, we're going to travel around for a little bit more. Find a few more enemies to fight before a grand war begins. Because you know a grand war is about to begin. It always does. It always happens. It always pops up. And we could fight Vlandians. The Azerai have got to go and die too. They want to do what now? Okay, what's over here now? 5% of settlement tax rights. If you want me to have more money, I'll take it. Ruler clan? I'm a ruler clan. They're for it. That makes them like me a little bit more. And we are now fighting who? The Azerai. Look at that. I didn't even have to do anything. They did it for me. They were like, today, let's go fight the Azerai. Now, my more elite army is far away over in Legeta. Ooh, there's the king of the Vlandians. So it does look like we're finally fighting the Azerai. That's been a long time coming. So we'll head on down here and begin our war. We're much more powerful, so I have no idea what they're going to do. Well, I also have not fought them before. I don't even know what it's going to be like to fight them. So that should be very interesting. Let's head on down and get ready for a new fight. There's one of my armies close by. Look at him go. Over 800. Our kingdom has become rather mighty. How many defenders? 146? Okay. Not a lot then. I could go raiding. Maybe I will. It's been a long time. Only 13 defenders. You better get more defenders. I want to fight you fools. If I go after their major town, I've not really been down here too often, so I don't know what it's like. You know what? We'll join in. I never get to really join in. Disavow? I think not. No, no, no. We're not disavowing anything I've done. I've got to carefully look at that wording. Sometimes they're going to try to like slip things past me. All right. So I'm going to join in right now. We're looking at only eight. Never mind. We're not joining in for that one. I could join any army that I want to and just kind of participate in their battles too. I don't have to fight them all on my own. What now? Can I help you? Oh, a new castle. Okay. We've taken a new castle. I know that some people wanted us to fight the Azerai. Well, guess what? It's happening today. All right. I'm going to join the army now. I've got... Let's see, how many to fight here? Over 500 to fight? Are you kidding me? That's actually a really big garrison. I can't wait. I hope they just like charge in. That'll be a bloody one. And I just get to really participate here. I'm not leading the army. I just get to fight with them for once. Yep, let's go in. Only one battering ram. He's like, that's all we need. I wanted to have a good time sit around adventuring. We had roughly a year of peace and then my own vassals are like, hey, let's go to war. Now you're sending in all of your men with only one battering ram. They have over 500 soldiers. They could easily wipe us out. Let's find out how bad the casualties are going to be. Usually, Justinian is leading every single effort. This time, he's allowing them to lead. He's allowing them to do something different. Oh, no. The kills are already beginning to stack up. If my healer is not in charge, too, we are done. We have over 500. They have nearly 500. Oh, don't hit me with that, buddy. Don't you even try it. So what am I going to do today? I'm going to have to use a ladder. I'm going to try to get in to open the front gate. I'm sure they've got so many archers. They're going to pincushion me. I might even get knocked out here. It's very likely that we could lose a siege battle. That's not been done before. I don't really know what that's like. But I'm allowing my men to do a battle without my own direct command. Maybe I micromanage too much, but looking at what they're doing now, I don't blame myself. I don't blame Justinian for wanting to just manage every single battle. They do well because of him, which means when he's not here, I don't even know how the battles are going to play out. The battering ram, see, it's fine to get past gate one, but remember that little place where they can shoot down once you're inside? They have so many men, they might even be able to staff that location. Have a look at our kills. We've only killed what? We've wounded five. We have 10 dead, nine, 10 wounded going up. That just lets you know how bad things will get. My own party, how many wounded? 
Thankfully, we have a good healer, but that isn't applicable to the entire army. If it's my army, I believe my healer applies. I mean, it seems to, but for theirs, they're just losing more. Anything that you want in this game is a good medical aid of some sort. You need that more than anything, because if you don't have that, you're just going to spend half of your game trying to recruit and get new soldiers constantly. But if you can get back in the fight, you'll be all right. As you can see here, 22 dead. I've got over 10 wounded already. They've barely taken out any of them. They're finally at the front gate. I'm waiting on them to actually go up the ladders. Usually I don't have all of you watch what's going on, but I just want you to see how awful the siege battle is going. Without Justinian to lead things, it's truly an awful affair. I mean, recruits are dying. Those are my men that are being hit right now. Three dead, 14 wounded. We should be getting reinforcements eventually. I mean, we have the numbers to overwhelm them, but let's go now. Maybe I shouldn't join wave one. I've got to find one portion of the wall where maybe we can get some good fighting in. Oh, there isn't any unit under my command. Even better for me. All right, let's try to pop on in if I can. If they focus me down, though, it's all over for me. And I'm going to wait for them to try to make some manner of like gap in there. Whether or not they will, I have no idea. That did not hit him. That hit him. Oh, that definitely hit him. But they have more guys on the way, and I'm just trying to not get shot up. That kill feed is awful. We're at over 50 dead now. Over 50 men. I mean, they're just falling down from the walls as we go on. They've got so many. I've yet to fight the Azerai, but they are truly a warrior people. Look at you go. I thought you were... A bunch of humble traders, and yet here you are. I'm proud of them. Finally, a worthy adversary. I fought the Vlandians and I destroyed them all. There's very few Vlandians who could stand up to me. Damn. Just want to kill all of you. Did I really shoot too high? Damn. All right, that's one. Just want to hit a few of them. Do we have any good javelins down here? I need to find out. I'm not really finding too much. Just a bunch of crappy swords. I turned off the little icons. I try to, to really do that whenever it's easy to tell who is who, but here I think it is easy to tell who is who because, I mean, hey, we got red uniforms. They do not. Oh, the madness here today. These poor men. Now I know what happens whenever I don't lead. I want to pull back, but again, we're just going to push on. We'll let it play out. You guys have not seen me lose very much. So if we lose a siege battle and I'm not commanding, we know who's truly winning for our own side. I'm going to try to get up there. Please don't shoot the hell out of me. I've got to try to sneak in if I can. I've got great armor, but it doesn't really matter. They deal a lot of damage to me. I and mean, all my smithing has really worked out. I've gotten pretty buff. Oh my God. How could I even... There's no way. There's no damn way. I'm going to have my shield up real quick. I'm going to try to jump on through. Get him away. Nope, nope, nope. Move. Holy crap. They hit my shield. They didn't even hit me in that complete overwhelming amount of their numbers coming for me. Let's try to be very careful because performance is going to get kind of shaky. So my capability to actually get some precise hits in will be limited. All right, just let him pass by because I got to go open the damn front gate. They might even let me do it. Let's see. I'm still running. Ugh. Got to run, men. I don't know if they have javelins or not. I don't know if I can I can actually get by them. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. There's no way. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, here's how my day is going. Here's another one. Hold on, I'm trying to actually get a thrust in, but that didn't work out. Shield bash! Lag is pretty heavy right now, so trying to get some good hits in is going to be, again, very challenging. I want to get to their front gate, but there's no way for me to actually make it to their front gate right now. Damn it. Oh, I hate all of you so much. What a cool map, though. I definitely dig it. Just wish I could get in there somehow. My poor soldiers. I've been hit already. Who's... How the hell? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah, right there. It's just so... The lighting is pretty wild. Come on, 
back off. Minimal damage from a minimal character. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Oh, they're gunning for it, huh? They're all rushing for me. Just trying to be careful. Come on, back off, kid. Got him, he's dead. I don't usually take my time as much as I am right now, but I feel the need to. It's compulsive currently. Gotta be very careful because, I mean, they could just wipe me out. Holy, there's so many of them. No wonder we can't open the gate. Got him, he's dead too. We're losing a bulk of our men, that's what it looks like. My shield is only in such good shape right now. It's another dead archer. I hope they don't bring in more. I think they are, but I don't know. Come on, another one dead. I'm just trying to weaken them. So we need someone to open a damn front gate. If I could just like kill these guys and let someone break open the front gate, then we can rush in. But they keep sending in more and more, so it's only really me that's actually getting kills right now. Come on, let's go. Oh, 11 damage, he hit me again. See, they can damage me. It's not like they can't. It's just a very difficult scenario. But yeah, see, there's like one guy there getting some kills. I'm barely getting any kills right now. My shield's in bad shape. Yeah, I do, uh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna apologize, I'm just gonna fight. I'm gonna focus. Yeah, yeah. Try to hit me, bunch of idiots. At least, even if they break my shield, I kind of know what general direction to block in. Oh, shoot. That was a bad idea. That wasn't going to do it. Look at how many I've killed already, though. That's wild, huh? Come here. Hey, come here. I want to fight you, probably. Oh, may maybe I don't. They're pushing down on me. Even guys with the hammers, they're quick. Especially when you're lagging. I think I've gotten like the bulk of the kills today, huh? Come on, back off. Won't lie, this is the worst situation I've ever been in in this game yet. I don't mean to do my side sweeps, it just kind of happens. Sometimes my movement it's kind of wacky, you know? Oh, crap. All right, now I've got to be extra mindful of what's going on. Oh, nine damage. Damn. I have no shield, and they're just all here doing whatever they want. And I can't see. You see how, how much I've, like, cleared out, though? I've cleared out a lot. At least to hit me, they only really have one direct way to do that right now. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. I think they, they finally broke in, I think. So I just have to hold on. Oh my God, why are you guys so damaging to my units? Men, I am very apologetic that I'm not leading you right now. All right, I gotta back off. Damn, more damage. Got him too. Usually I don't take the sieges in such a serious way, but today I've got to. I don't have a choice but to take everything in a serious way. Because, I mean, look at that. They have cut through so many of my friends. And I'm just trying my best right now to clear out whatever I can from these idiots. Don't shoot me with a bunch of arrows. I don't want to deal with that right now. Yeah, you stay in your damn formation. We got some range units in. Nice. Good. Kill them. I don't care if I get knocked out. Men of the Empire, your sacrifices will not be in vain today. I will make sure to harvest an exact vengeance upon them. That's what I'm doing right now. Vengeance for my people. And then, who led this damn battle should be honestly quartered. Drawn and quartered. Because he's an idiot. Siege towers would have made a big difference. Any artillery would have made a big difference. And then here you are charging in with a bunch of blasted battering rams, and that's it. Oh, we cannot underestimate these people. That was a tremendous battle. I have not seen the likes of that ever before. And look at what I've done. I think I've changed up the entire fate of that damn siege. 
Good job, man. Cut them down, every one of them. Holy shit. Oh. How many did I even kill? Yeah, charge in, sure. I've killed, let's see, over 100 from my party, 28 dead in my party. I personally killed 47, and I didn't even need to climb up the damn ladder. Ugh. We did it. We damn well did it. The most brutal battle I've ever been engaged in. I We just need to have a look around before we leave. Cheer away, men, but shit. I lost my shield. They broke that. I've been hit with an arrow. I've been cut up in the stairways. I fought over here. There's even no room to move. I fought my entire way through, trying to make sure that we would have a victory to cheer about, but I don't even feel good about that. I'm glad about what I did. What they did, no, that was not okay. What I could do, though, I could actually put my own army up, even my new recruits, or just leave them with me, and we could just join in with other armies to fight. That would change up how battles play out, because I wouldn't be in charge. I would be a member of that war. I mean, I need some people to learn how to fight, because I'm not always going to be here. Man. Yeah, cheer away, sure. That was, um... That was something else. What a great castle, though, to defend on. I'm guessing no one ever took the town because, I mean, that was a huge defense. That was a long siege battle, too. I'm going to capture all of them because I want them to come fight for me. They were impressive. Okay, I'll take more infantrymen. We need more shields. More archers. I'm going to focus on archers. I don't usually do that, but we're going to change it up. Focus on archers. If you want to come join me and fight for me, come on. Let's go. Kind of a wild thing to want to do right now after a battle like that, but we'll do it. All right. We'll take all that loot. Right. I don't really care who takes it right now. It's always you two. We'll rejoin their group later. We need to go patch up for a brief minute. Oh, they want Inquirian to have it. Sure. You could take it. Can always reorganize stuff later, but uh, let's have a look. We've taken two locations. We take all of it. That means we could fight another empire. I mean, we own such a grand deal of the empire already. It's actually rather impressive. Do we still have long wars ahead of us? The Vlandians still have a lot of power. They're not weak. We had to have a freaking peace treaty because of how awful our war was. Army of poachers. Uh, maybe I'll even help you out. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We only have two slots. I'm on... Mutton pie, what a name. They call me mutton pie. I'm quite delicious. Oh, no, no. That's not okay. All right, let's go on down to smithing. And we're going to smelt down everything over here. Just all of it. I need even more charcoal. There are mods to enhance what you're able to do for smithing, and I think they're very much needed right now because if you don't, you'll never be able to smith properly. You will not. They will have to change it. They will have to tweak it. But if you don't get rid of that, like, stamina thing, which is such a weird thing to have. Uh, look, dude, you are limited by resources already. You have to spend time and money trying to get your stuff. But then time, too. And then right now, how it works, you can only regenerate stamina while in a town. So you've got to spend even more time in a town. That's bananas. All right. Sell it all. I could use a little bit more money. Sell those, too. All right, very good. That all looks very good to me. Keep the... No, we need the wood. The wood is mine. The charcoal is mine, too. The salt, no. The steel, absolutely. The cotton, no. Salt, we don't need that. I hope one day we get to, like, make clothing and other things, not just, like, armor. I think that would be really cool. But I'm already seeing some incredible mods out there, so who knows, man? People are able to tweak stuff so quickly. Let's just kind of rest up. Look at that. That army was so large, and now they're not. Now they're like, oh, okay, we, we better go patch up. That was rough. Huh. We've got another siege battle to fight in right over here at Ukpa Castle. It should be interesting. I'm sure they're going to charge in right after they build, like, one bit of siege equipment, like a battering ram. I have no idea, though. Now, we're at a point in the game where I'm such a huge power, I can just let my allies do what they want. They're going to build up and conquer a lot, and it looks like right now they're actually building up another siege tower. Great. That's what I want them to do. 
In fact, one day I might even just like declare war on everyone. We'll see. I could do that. Then we could have like a world war and see who comes out on top. My people would be tired out. I'm sure it would be difficult. And let's see here. We've got one siege tower and one battering ram. That's better than last time. But look at what they have. They've got three pieces of siege equipment. Oh, Vogue, if only you were inside. Anyway, let's go help him out. Cool music. Sanian, how many of our people are you going to kill today? I guess we're going to find out. It's going to be a long siege again. There they all go. Oh, you've got to go around. It's kind of curved at that road. All right, very well. There's Ragnar. You can always point him out. He's joining at the front gate. He's got his bow out. You don't have to be tall to be mighty. I mean, check him out. That's Ragnar. Everyone knows his name. They know not to fight him, too. All right, so my siege tower is over there. I'm going to go join at their siege tower. I can't wait to more easily command individual groups, like whenever I can rename groups. That would be great. Hold on. I would like that a lot, actually. So we'll join them. They are pushing pretty fast. They have how many defenders? 180. 180 defenders. The Azerai are a very interesting foe. I don't believe they can win. We're way too large and powerful. But they are going to bleed us. I mean, that last battle was impressive. I was very happy with how they performed. And keep in mind, if I'm not trying to be as careful as I usually am, it's because, again, I'm a large empire. We're very powerful. I can afford to lose one influence point here. I can afford to lose one battle there. Unless I'm losing the entire game, it's not consequential. I will make important strategic choices, but not every tactical choice will be valid. Now that is some core strength. Look at Justinian. He's like, I do squats with only one leg. That's really impressive. He's like, I can keep balance, such as my legend. <laughs> That's how well known I am. His beard has grown out too. It'll only get longer. We've got some more wars to fight and we're not going to let up. I mean, we're going to conquer everything that we can. Ooh, how many have we lost already? 16 dead, 14 wounded. They keep on killing so many of our men. Usually we end up winning the ranged portion of the fights, but I can't command any of them. Are they holding fire? They're just not attacking. I have no idea. Whenever I command them, it's just fine. Oh, we're rolling over our own dead. Come on. You can move them out the way, you know. They're like, nope, we just got to go. I'm going to stay right here because I do not want to get shot up. I know these fights are very deadly. Hey, look, it's one of my thugs. He's like, I don't need a shirt where I'm going. Man, you're going to be so burned. There's a lot of sun here. All right, we're at 22 dead, 18 wounded. We've killed 10, so that's at least a little bit better than usual. I'm going to pull out my Jareeds. We're going to head right into the battle today. I'm not going to open it. They can open it. Let them do it. I'm going to throw, though. I'm here to throw down a little bit. Come on. Open it up. Darn. That's why I usually like to wait. That's one dead militiaman. Let's get another. He fell down. Oh, buddy, get out my way. Come on. Trust me, back in the Warband days, you would have so much more friendly fire. It would be so deadly. All right, let's go up. I'm going to have to try to carefully help out. I'm going to try to anyway. It's going to be nasty, I think. I would like to try to get some good reach on them. I think with my current weapon, I will have that reach. Chamber blocks by like everyone. Damn, that's impressive. It's a lot of chamber blocking. Come on, I just want to hit one of you. That's another one dead. If I can just get in there. Get in a few hits. Yeah. Jump and a cut. Okay, that's not working out yet. Oh, wait. There we go. 78 damage. I don't know if jumping helped. Okay, our boys are moving in. I'm going to have to stay close. This weapon has so much more reach that it's what I'm going to use during siege battles. It's crazy how much damage it does. These are just really nice weapons to use. Okay, we're finally breaking in. We've got plenty of men inside. Oh, they're throwing some javelins at us. Who's inside? Can't see. Okay, that's an empire peasant. Well, no wonder we're losing some if we got peasants in here. 
We just have to watch out to not get overwhelmed by everyone who's here fighting us. There's another dead militia archer. Oh, you finally got a cut on me. We do have more up here to kill. He's dead. Okay, let's move. No, you're not leaving. I don't want you to leave. You get to be here forever. All right, so we've nearly gotten them all. Hello, my little friend. How do you do? Come on, let's go. Let's go. And he's dead. He did hit me, though. He clipped me. He's like, I can make a god bleed. And I said no, and then he did. And he felt cool, but no one saw it, so no one's going to remember it. Let's go down. We've won. The battle's over. Another big fight is over. You just take a nap. You too. All right, we can go. Over 60. Let's see. 60 killed, 56 wounded. Yes, yeah, so our casualties are pretty high. Naturally, we won. We're just rolling through the entire town. It does help that they're all in one location instead of being all over the map like the other factions. Those were much more difficult to get onto. All right, I'm going to upgrade all of you. If you want to come join me, come join me. Okay, tier two. That's a little chevrons telling me what tier they are over here, tier four. Sometimes I don't really pay attention to that, and I should. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. All right. Time for new battles. But I think we're going to call it here for right now. We had a nice siege battle. I'm going to follow them. That is the Nustica. Critical Kingdom decision. Right. So thank you for watching, everyone. Look forward to more later on. And we will begin our votes for our new faction right down below. Until then.